Ah, gaming, the very craft that has taken the world by storm since the 20th century, getting more and more popular every single year. Gaming has done so much for the world, and today I want to focus on what gaming means to me and most of you gamers out there. I want to start out by talking about probably the most obvious thing gaming does, and that is help us cope with life when it is or isn't going well. Video games do not judge you based on who you are or what you've been through. There's something about gaming that just makes you feel better. I don't know what it is. Ways to cope in games for me, since I don't own a single shooter game, is just cruising around in a car in a Forza Horizon game like you're seeing right now. I've always felt gaming helps me forget about the hard time that I'm going through or the bad day that I've had. It is a feeling I feel will never be taken away from gaming, and that's what makes it so special. The second point that I want to bring up is forgetting about reality. This is another huge reason gaming is so popular. Now this can go hand in hand with coping. This can be a coping mechanism. I really love it when I can just forget about everything when I game. I don't need to explain this one much more. It mostly goes hand in hand with coping. The third thing gaming does is it allows us to be creative and voice our opinions. I've seen how creative people can get within a video game, allowing players to express their creativity and their style to so many great things to a game. There's also YouTubers out there who literally make a living off of just playing games. It's insane. Anytime you have a game, you're going to receive feedback on it from your community, whether it's good or bad. Communities nowadays are not afraid to do this, and if most companies who create our games that we have today would listen, the gaming industry would be so much stronger. A fourth thing that gaming does is it makes you smarter, more specifically a better decision maker, because you learn from your mistakes that end up costing you something in the game. You learn what makes you successful and what doesn't, and hopefully you evolve into a better gamer, unless you're just the trolling type. A fifth thing that gaming does is you get to meet new people, more specifically online, because there's going to be somebody out there who you're going to bond with when you're just cruising around in a Forza game like me, or you work together as a team and say Halo Infinite, or whatever it may be, you're always going to meet some new people, and some of those people you could have friendships with, and play games together, which can make your gaming experience twice as fun. So, that's another positive to gaming. The sixth and final point that I could think of is if you're passionate about games and you love them enough, you could end up having a career in it. Introducing people to games, especially at a young age, can inspire kids when they get older to make some fantastic games that are probably better than the ones we have today, because some kids realize that AAA gaming companies, all they care about is money, and they know that there are certain flaws within the game that they could fix in their lifetime, potentially. And that's a good thing. We need more people in the gaming industry to make us solid games. So... This is maybe an option. Anyway, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Kind of a different video from me, but still relevant to the channel. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you like this kind of content. Share this channel with your friends if you think they would enjoy this type of content. Join my Discord servers. Link in description. Let me know what you think of this video in the comments, please. If you want to see more videos like this, where I talk more about the gaming industry and its current state and other kind of things like that, let me know. And yeah, I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye.